PDP in this array as Mohamed gives Bauchi to Buari. Full kills resurfaced in Lagos. Some Wolu State State Government imputes in electricity bill. New neurons for circulation before December 15th. Amid the crisis rocking the People's Democratic Party, a member of the party, Governor Bala Mohamed of Bauchi State, says everybody in his state is a supporter of President Mahmoud Dupari. The governor said this on Tuesday, November 22, 2022, at the groundbreaking ceremony to flag of the Coleman Integrated Development Project, which is the first crude drilling project in the northeastern part of the country. Mohamed, while expressing his admiration for Buhari, said the people of Bauchi are indebted to the president. Earlier this month, the governor in a letter to Iyocha Ayu, who is the national chairman of the PDP, threatened to back out of the party's presidential campaign. He alleged that some politicians who are loyal to Atsuka Abubakar were working against his re election in Bauchi. However, the governor's open admission for Buhari could compound the lingering crisis in the PDP and work against the interests of the party as the 2023 election draws closer. On Tuesday, November 22, 2022, commuters were stranded as food crisis hit Lagos again. Long queues were seen at many fuel stations in the state as motorists and commercial drivers besieged the filling stations to fill their vehicle tanks. The situation caused traffic gridlocks in some areas of Lagos State. Many filling stations along the stretch of last week on the road were shuttered, while the few that opened business sold petrol between 200 naira and 210 naira per litre. However, the Independent Petroleum Marketers Association of Nigeria, Ipman, has blamed it on the depot owners. According to the National Controller Operations of Ipman, Mike Osatsui, Ipman members could not get sufficient products at the depot. The governor of Lagos State, Babajide Sonwul, has appealed to the House of Representatives to allow input of state government in the Electricity Bill 2022. Sonwul said that allowing input of state government in the Electricity Bill 2022 would unbundle naughty issues surrounding generation, transmission, and distribution of power in Nigeria. He made the appeal on Tuesday at Lagos House Ikeja during the anniversary ceremony to celebrate the completion of the Lagos State Integrated Resource Plan to bolster the overall energy security for residents. The IRP was in partnership with the United States Agency for International Development and Power Africa as part of the Nigerian Power Sector Program. The Integrated Resource Plan serves as a blueprint to improve sector planning and coordination while providing guidance on Lagos State energy development requirements to stakeholders. The governor said that Lagos was the first state to come up with the IRP initiative, adding that in spite of privatization, a lot needed to be done in the power sector. He said that it would be better for his state to identify and prefer solutions to their peculiar power needs. In his address, the United States Council General Lagos, Mr. William Stephen, described electricity as the basis of economic growth, trade, and investment. Stephen said that the United States government was excited to partner with Lagos states on the issue of electricity. The governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Amy Fili, has announced that the President Major General Mahmoud Buhari will unveil the Ninera note during the weekly Federal Executive Council at the Presidential Villa on Wednesday. He also said that the new Ninera note will go into circulation before December 15, 2022, dates earlier set by the Central Bank. He made the announcement during a press briefing held at the Monetary Policy Committee meeting in Abuja. Listen to the headlines again. PDP in this area has Mohamed gifts Bauchi to Buhari. Full skills resurfaced in Lagos. Some Wolu six state government inputs in electricity bill. New neuron is for circulation before December 15th. I am Odeleki Mufin from reporting for Wisdom Yard Online TV. Thank you for always listening.